So, with the gameplay reveal of Battlefield 2042 coming up tomorrow as part of the Microsoft conference, I thought I'd take the time to highlight all of the weapons that we currently know are part of this game. Over the last few days, lots of people have been analysing that reveal trailer and working out what some of the less obvious weapons might be. Some of the frames of the trailer are a little bit blurred and they don't give you the best image. But of course, the Battlefield community, being as industrious as it is, they're really great at picking apart these things. And I wanted to round everything up into one video so that going into tomorrow, if we see any new ones, you're going to know they're new. I also made a few mistakes in my previous video identifying the weapons. You will have to excuse my ignorance there. I'm not an expert on real life firearms, but I did my best and I got most of them right, but some of them were wrong and I'll correct them in this video. Okay, so we're going to be using a Reddit thread here by The Real Space Hosh. They put together a list of weapons based on some of the shots in the trailer, and then they've gone into a bit of detail on each of the weapons. The Reddit link is down in the description. It's a good one. You should go and check it out after this video. First of all, we have the SIG MCX Spear. This can be spotted quite a few times during the trailer in the hands of various different soldiers. And this is one of the weapons that I mistook for the fictional M5A3, a modernized M4 that I mentioned in my previous video. The M5A3 is confirmed as a weapon for Battlefield 2042 as well. This was listed in the DICE presentation that I got to see before the full reveal, but this MCX Spear, this is a variant of the MCX Carbine that's chambered in 6.8 by 51 millimeter. And it's a primary contender in the US Army's NGSW, Next Generation Squad Weapons Program. That's set to nominate a weapon to replace the M4A1 Carbine. Next, we have the AK-12. This is a weapon, again, that we see in the trailer quite a lot in the hands of various soldiers that appear to be part of the Russian faction. Of course, all of the non-pats, they don't really have a nation, but they're being guided by either United States or Russia and we see these guns in the hands of what look like Russian soldiers. Now, this AK-12 was designed to replace the older AK-74M in the Russian army, and it was adopted into service in 2018. It's chambered in 5.45 by 39mm, but variants come in 7.62 by 39mm and 5.56 by 45mm as well. In the trailer shot here, it's in the hands of the Canadian Assault Specialist, Webster McKay, and it features a red dot sight and a flashlight mounted on the rail on the side. Then we've got the Colt M5 Enhanced Carbine, and just based on the name, this may well be the M5A3 that DICE referenced in their Behind Closed Doors presentation that I got to see. It might not be, but, you know, the name is kind of linking up there, and it's in the hands of an unknown specialist. We don't really know much about this one at the moment. It's equipped with a suppressor, this gun, but the player appears to be running nothing else attached on it. You can see the iron sights. There's no underbarrel grip on here, and I think it might actually be missing a magazine in this shot. Not 100% sure, but again, this is an AR pattern rifle. It's chambered in 556 by 45 millimeter, and it's another weapon proposed to replace the M4A1 carbine. And then in the hands of the soldier just behind that one, you can see another weapon, this is the DSR Precision DSR-1. It's a bullpup bolt action rifle that's chambered in 308 Winchester. This is a weapon that's used by a lot of special forces units apparently. And if you take the trailer a few frames forward, you can actually see that this sniper is equipped with a rather massive suppressor on it, as well as a long range optic. The Scar H is next. We picked this one out in just a few frames in the previous video I made, but with the extra information that we've got from Hosh here, I think we can be confident that this is one that's been modified by the holder, because of course weapon customization is a thing in Battlefield games. This Scar H is sporting a 13 inch barrel, which is a shorter one, and it might be part of Battlefield 2042's weapon customization to provide a more mobile barrel option for this weapon. So I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing a couple of other longer barrel options for the Scar H that perhaps provide more damage output or more accurate shooting thanks to the added weight of a barrel like that. Then we have the LWRC SMG 45, which I mistakenly said was the UMP in one of my previous videos. They do look kind of similar, so maybe give me some credit for that. But it can be seen a couple of times in the trailer, once in the hands of another unknown specialist, and it sports a suppressor and there's a ranged optic on the top of it. And then here we see it without the suppressor, but with an added underbarrel grip. The weapon is chambered in 45 ACP, but spotted in the trailer on this version of the gun, 
You can see that the magazine is marked with a number 9, and that might be referencing the ammo being 9 by 19 mm Parabellum, which this weapon can be chambered for. Perhaps this is the first time that we're seeing a weapon in Battlefield 2042 that offers different kinds of ammunition types. And that is a feature that DICE did very briefly mention in the presentation that I saw last week before the reveal. Next up, we get to see the Chris Vector, and in Battlefield 2042, this will be known as the K30 SMG. And this weapon has actually previously featured in another Battlefield game. It was in Battlefield Hardline, and it was ridiculously overpowered on PC because the recoil could be very easily controlled, but, but whatever. That's, that's a different story. Like the previous weapon that we just spoke about, the LWRC SMG, this is also chambered in 45 ACP, and this gun is known for its extremely high rate of fire. It's also a very lightweight weapon, perhaps making it really good as a close range mobile weapon that you could use with your specialists. Then we get to see the PKP Pechenegg spotted in the Robot Doggo scene of the trailer, and I've not actually seen anyone else really pick this weapon out up to this point, so good spot there from Space Hosh. According to them, this is a bulb up variant chambered in 762 by 54 mm and it has widespread use within the Russian forces and that makes it a weapon very likely to be seen used by the Russian sided NOPATs in Battlefield 2042. This is a weapon that players of older Battlefield games will probably almost instantly recognize it featured in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. And then we have the KAC LAMG, a light assault machine gun. And this is in the hands of the Espinosa specialist that hasn't been detailed yet, but we've seen him in two different outfits, which is kind of interesting. This is a stoner pattern machine gun, and it's chambered in 556 by 45 mm or 762 by 51 mm. And Hosh thinks in this image that the latter caliber is the one that's being used. And then here, we've got the Remington 870 MCS shotgun. This was one of the more obvious weapons that you could spot in the trailer because of how long it lingered on these two soldiers. But this is the 12G combat variant, and it's used by multiple militaries and police forces around the world. And then an interesting one, the Chukavin SVCH. I think that's how you pronounce it. A semi-automatic marksman rifle. This is a weapon intended to replace the older Dragunov pattern rifles that are still in use by the Russian forces, and it can be chambered in 762 by 54 mm as well as variants coming in 762 by 51 mm and 338 Lapua Magnum. And then lastly, we have the Carl Gustav launcher in the jet sea. This was a bad company 2 weapon. It was completely overpowered for pretty much its entire lifespan in that game. And technically it's an anti-tank launcher for firing 84 mm shells, but you know, I'm not gonna quibble about the fact the guy throws himself out of his jet and takes down another one with what is supposed to be an anti-tank launcher. Whatever, dude, you, you can do whatever you like. And I'd love to see more people try and do this in Battlefield 2042. Obviously, Battlefield players are just going to use this kind of weapon to cause mayhem, damage, destruction, probably going to use it against infantry because they always do. But whatever, who cares? It's the Carl Gustav and someone's doing a render zoo with it. I think that's what really matters in this context. We do also have a few gadgets that we know about based on the specialist info that we have from Battlefield 2042. Webster McKay, he's gonna have access to a grappling hook. Maria Falk will have a syringe gun for healing and reviving from a distance. Russian lad Boris with his big Chunga sentry gun. And then Casper has some kind of drone to spot enemies. And you can actually fire EMP darts from it as well, which I forgot to mention in my previous video. Now, obviously, no doubt, after tomorrow, when we see all of that gameplay from Battlefield 2042, there will be a bunch more weapons and vehicles in action there that we'll be able to identify. So make sure you tune in to that Microsoft conference to catch that gameplay. I'm going to try again and live stream the event so that we can all watch it together. I thought that was pretty cool last time and you guys seemed really excited. So I, I want to try and do that again, but I might be busy at the precise time that I didn't want to be busy at. So either I'll be live or I'll make a video later breaking down the gameplay and picking out all of those hidden details. But that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Massive shout out to Space Hosh over on Reddit who created the Reddit thread that we used in this video. That is linked down in the description. So make sure you go and check that out as well. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.